Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. Hey you guys, I'm getting ready to unbox my Ninja coffee bar that I got from my mom for my birthday. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to open it so badly and we were out of town and just busy and I haven't had a chance. And I've been using my sad little old Keurig and like, okay, I gotta open this thing up. <laughs> so this one is the one that comes with the 10 cup thermal carafe and the 10 cup over ice carafe. Um, I'll probably just use those when we have company over. I don't know, I don't usually, I usually do like the single cup serving size. Like every day I'll drink like the travel size in the morning and then again in the afternoon. But I'm excited to make some of the specialty like iced coffees and stuff too because it looks pretty awesome. What I did is <laughs> I had said to my mom, I'm like, I gotta learn how to use this thing. She's like, watch YouTube videos. There's YouTube videos on it. I'm like, duh, of course there are. And I watched some and it just really looks simple. It comes with a recipe book that comes with a whole bunch of different ideas on different ways to make your coffee and, and all of that. The very first time I'm just going to do just a basic like cup of coffee like I would have in the morning just to try it out. And then later on I'll try some of the specialty stuff. Um, you know, uh, maybe tomorrow. I've got my McCafe from my sister, some biscotti from my sister, and the chocolate and caramel sauces. Um, so I'll try those again, probably just another day. But I've cleared off the counter in preparation. So this is where I keep my coffee maker. One reason why I keep my coffee maker here, if you guys look at the tile, there's this section right here that's a little bit darker than all the rest of the tiles. <laughs> so it's like, well, that's just the perfect spot for my coffee machine to cover that up because I'm OCD and this backsplash drives me crazy. Not just this spot, but there's other spots that drive me crazy. So anyway, that's where I'm going to set it up. Okay, so when you first open it up, it says maximize your system. These are accessories that you can get to go along with your Ninja. I have a um, Tervis tumbler that I use for my coffee that's just like this. So I don't need that, but I did notice this one is the same only in like a stainless steel. So it would probably keep it even hotter. I might have to get that. And then that's just like a coffee press. I don't know why you would need that. And then just a regular mug. So anyway, there's some other accessories you can get to go with it. First things first, quick start guide. Again, I said I watched some YouTube videos. It looks really simple to use. I do have to run water through it twice to kind of clean it and prepare it. And then this also feels like it has the recipe book inside. So lots of recipes to try. So there she is all out of the box. She's beautiful. I didn't show you guys like taking everything out of the box because it was all like everything was taped. This was taped, <laughs> the side was taped, this was taped, everything. These were in a separate box, both the crafts. I was looking for the other one, it's right there. And the little frother was in a separate thing. I have it on clean cycle. You're supposed to run it through a clean cycle twice, which is like a whole, it filters all this water through it. Um, so you have really nice craft. I noticed everything is really like solid plastic, nicely well made. So pretty excited. Yay. <laughs> Yay, are you excited too? There is a huge hawk on our fence. I just looked out the window and he's just chilling there. Oh my goodness, Eddie is inside. <laughs> Thank goodness. We see him fly around our neighborhood a lot though. Do you see him, Chelsea? Yeah. Look at how pretty. I just want to have food in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chelsea is popping her own popcorn, standing on the counter. <laughs> what boy of I? <gasps> Whoa! It's getting really big, isn't it? Is it done? Oh, put these. <laughs> um, is it done? Almost, not yet. Gotta wait till it beeps. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, I'm gonna open the door. Whoa. Don't open it until it beeps. And even then, it's gonna be hot, so you need to let mommy do it, okay? Okay guys, today I'm going to show you that we're going to do our, my toy bird, my toy bird here. Here's my kitchen. And there's the little that's the one tree. And that's here. So I got this from Christmas. 
I'm going to show you how it works. I do not want actual money. You can play a paper. You can play. There we go. And press this. Dad, I think my sticker don't fix anymore. I think we wash the stickiness to this. It's, um, I try to get sticker and hey, Ed, what to do? Are you going to be in the camera? Ah! Who sniffed the camera, guys? Ed, you want to be in the camera? You want to be in the camera? Okay, so one thing I really like about this machine is it comes with this handy dandy little scoop and it tells you the measurements on each thing. So if you're making like a, a large craft, you would use this big scoop. For a little, you'd use this. I'm doing the travel size and it says three to five scoops. I did three and a half just to kind of try it out and see what happens. I've got my, this is my mug that I use. It's a 16 ounce mug. I drink a lot of coffee. So if I had a smaller mug, I would, you know, just a traditional mug, you would tip that down. But since this is big, it can just go here. I did three and a half scoops. This is drip stop so that you can stop the drip to pour coffee if you want to, but um, I also just had that on there. Right here, I have to select the travel size and then I'm going to do just the classic brew since this is my first time. You also have a richer brew over ice, which is more um, concentrated so that it doesn't taste watered down. Then there's specialty concentrated, which is for like um, other, uh, like cappuccinos and things like that. The Cafe Forte, I think is another richer brew. I don't know, I probably won't use that one. So I've got it on travel and I filled my water up too. Now what this does is it kind of like brews or steeps the coffee inside the filter and heats it up and then pours it out. So it kind of makes a stronger coffee, which is nice. My, there it goes, that's my first brew. So here on the side, you have your frother. If you want to froth, you can do cold or hot. Um, here's where the little scoop goes. It just clips onto the side, which is really nice. I really like that feature, because I was kind of like, I don't know how much, like this isn't how I typically, I always use the Keurig. So it was always the little K-cup size. So it's kind of nice that it does that. So see it brewed a little bit and now it's like steeping it inside. So it'll make a nice, strong, richer coffee. Got my clock set here. I think you can probably set it to um, brew at a certain time. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> okay, I had a moment of panic. <laughs> this is a 16 ounce mug. And it says when you have it on this travel setting that it makes about 14 ounces. It's not exact, I guess. And it got to the top and I had to do the drip stop because I thought it was going to overflow. And then I stuck a glass under there, which you're not supposed to stick glass under there, I guess. But I mean, I just did it real quick and then it just did a little bit. <laughs> so it was like panic, but oh, it also beeps when it's done. So it's done. But I kind of had a panic moment. It's all right. Everything's okay. But <laughs> that's how much it fills it. Why are we going back 
backwards bike. I mean, horsey. <laughs> it's time for the question of the day. Today's question comes from Adventure Hunter, and the question is, what is your favorite game show? Game show. This is kind of hard because I'm trying to think even what game shows there are. Family Feud's a good one. I think my favorite is probably The Price is Right because like when we were sick or stay home from school or whatever, it was always on during the day and so that's what we would watch. Does Amazing Race count as a game show? We don't really watch that either. We don't watch any game shows. Yeah, I don't know what you consider a game show because... Re that would be reality, other, I guess. That would be like reality show. Brother is a competition. What was the other one that we That's reality. Competition, Survivor. That's reality. Survivor. That's reality. Kind of so. Yeah, it is kind of a game show, too. I don't know. We haven't watched Survivor in probably 10 years. No, not 10 years. Definitely five or six. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know it was still on. Yeah. Amazing yeah, Race, we, we haven't watched in a we long time. Switching nights, and then we just. Yeah. Fine, you're going to do that. I'm not going to watch it. I gave up on that. And honestly, I can't tell you the last time I watched The Price is Right. It's been a very long time. So I guess we don't really watch game shows. I guess if I'd had have to pick one, I would say The Price is Right. I'm going old school. What? Press your luck. No mm. whammy, no whammy, no whammies. <laughs> Wait. Google, press your luck on YouTube. I think I and remember this. And it was a little this. cartoon whammy guy, and there was a square board, and the light would go around the board, and each little board oh, had a square yeah. or something that you would do. That yep. was my favorite. I watch that all the time. Maybe we should watch more game shows. That well, sounds like fun. I like the old school game shows though. Yeah. Not so much the new stuff. Like I wouldn't mind Price watching right. Wheel of Fortune once in a while. Price is right with Bob Barker. Yeah. That was the only way I can do it. Yeah, I know. The good old days. How about Family Feud? That's a good one too. Because sometimes people have like really dumb answers and and you're really screaming. Yeah. You're screaming at the TV. <laughs> yeah, the right you're screaming. Like that's a horrible answer. Why would you say that? You know, and that's a pretty good then one. Then there's the funny ones, like the one time, um, it was name something that comes after pork, and the one guy said you pine, pork you pine. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so we want to know from you guys, what is your favorite game show? Tell us in the comments below.